This tutorial is about a, a derivation or a proof of the cosine law. So we're going to start with, uh, this is just an arbitrary triangle. Um, we normally use the cosine law in triangles that don't have right angles, although it does apply to triangles that right, have right angles. So that's why this doesn't necessarily look like a right angle triangle. Uh, it is, uh, uh, an it's called, they're all called oblique triangles, so triangles that don't have right angles. So in the triangle, uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, I made this uh, construction here, a perpendicular from angle A down to uh, the B, C side. And so that's, that's perpendicular, we're going to call that H, and then this is the point D. So in triangle A, B, D, this triangle over here, I'm going to call, I'm going to let B, D, this distance right here, uh, be X. And this distance over here, is the difference between the entire length, which is a, and this x distance. So over here, we would call that a minus x. Okay, so the whole thing's a, this is x. This distance right here would be the entire length a minus x, so a minus x over here. So in this triangle, by Pythagoras' theorem in the ABD triangle, h squared plus x squared would equal c squared. And we're going to need that a little later down here. In uh, in in this triangle, uh, ABD, X um, in relation to the B angle is the adjacent side, and C would be the hypotenuse. So in relation to angle B here, the cosine of angle B would be X over C. So X over C is equal to cos B. Now, if we uh, cross multiply to solve for x, uh, x would, be, would equal the product of c and cos b. And remember, there's if you want to write it, there is a 1 right here. So x times 1 is x, and it would equal the product of the c and the cos b. So, uh, next, um, in uh, the ADC triangle over here, we're going to use Pythagoras, or write up Pythagoras' theorem again. And B squared is the hypotenuse, so B squared would equal the H side squared plus the A minus X side squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand out the uh, A minus X squared. And actually, I'll write this out. If we're expanding that out, if you don't know the shortcut for squaring a binomial, this is what it looks like. So a multiplied by a is a squared. So that's that product. And then this product right here be a minus ax. And then this product would be another one the same, a minus ax. And negative x times negative x is x squared. So there's the x squared in the end. That's that one, a squared at the beginning. And these two negative ax's or negative 1 ax's uh, add to negative 2 ax. So that's where that expansion comes from. Let's get rid of all that. Okay, so next, uh, we're going to do a little rearranging. Okay, I'm going to write this in a slightly different order. So all I'm doing is I'm bringing the x squared over here and write it right after the h squared. And then I've got the a squared minus 2 ax afterwards on the end. So... Now we're going to make a substitution. This is why we did this, uh, these couple of things up here. So uh, h squared plus x squared is equal to c squared. So in place of this, we're going to put a c squared. So that's that substitution. And this is equal to x. So in place of x, we can put this c cos b. So this is the uh, uh, cosine law to find side B in any triangle. B squared equals C squared plus A squared minus 2AC cos B. Notice that this is the angle 
across from this side over here. So if we find the B side, you need to know the B angle. And what's over here, C squared plus A squared are the other two sides. And then these two sides, this is how you remember the cosine law, are the same two ones that are squared here. Okay, the pattern's always the same. Similarly, if I wanted to find side A, I would write A squared equals the other two sides squared, B squared plus C squared, minus 2BC. Notice that these are the same two sides as the ones that are squared here. And then the cos, uh, this is multiplied, there's an implied multiplication here. This angle is the one across from the side we're finding. And of course, if we wanted to write it for the C side, C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos C. Again, this is the angle across from that side. These are the two sides that aren't this one. And these two sides are the same two that are squared here. It's it. The first part looks like Pythagoras' theorem. And it's kind of like this is here because it's not uh, a right angle triangle. And if it was a right angle triangle, if you... Uh, Actually, I'm going to grab my calculator. So if the angle was a right angle, if I take the cosine of 90 degrees here, then what happens, see, the cosine of 90 is 0. And so if this is 0, 0 times whatever this is, is 0, and it actually becomes the Pythagorean theorem. So it's really these these expressions on the end here are because it's not a right angle triangle. And if it is a right angle triangle and the angle is 90, whether it's a, b, or c angle, then it I just uh, it sort of reduces to the Pythagorean theorem. And that is a proof or derivation of the cosine law.